No, this girl didn't say. She wanted a tall, light-skinned black man. Oh, okay. We have we we gonna be on. It's one of them seasons. Okay. I I I catch you. I catch you writing letters. I catch you. Is that what you're doing? Are you writing letters, dear John? Letters. That's what we doing. I catch you. I catch you. I'm gonna catch you writing dear John letters. Is that what you saying? I catch you. Hello, welcome back. We're back for another season of Chicago. Shy town, shy town, shy town. And your season is about to be epic. Welcome to the Pretty Real TV review channel, baby. Yes, I'm late. Y'all ain't here to talk about my lateness. Y'all here to talk about this first episode of season 18. How about that? very good now if you don't know who i am my name is carla welcome if you have been rocking with me and you're like ah i can't wait oh i'm gonna give it to you boo i'm gonna give it to you all i need you to do is do what i know you need to do i know what you want to do you want to hit the like button you want to hit the subscribe if you're new here and you're gonna get all these vibes as soon as you subscribe okay let's get into it it's gonna be one of them seasons i can tell now this is a good looking ass season honey this this right here this right here is giving goodness okay. oh let's start with michelle shall we michelle man. michelle's 38 honey michelle told us from the rip from the gap michelle said i don't need no man to protect me i don't need no man to provide for me i don't need nothing I'm all woman. I'm I'm like I'm she, uh 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 she, she up in the smug, and she said I don't need no man for nothing. I need an equal. Then she says out of her mouth, Shell said this, not me, not 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 me, Shell, not Michelle. Shell said this. She said, I want a tall, light skinned black man. Paul. Mother pulse. Did she just say that? I hit myself too hard. That shit hurt. That's how hard Michelle is going. Too damn hard if you ask me. But um, Michelle, you baby, baby, you looking for a Jason Tatum. Okay. You looking for if you know who Jason Tatum is, who played for the Boston Celtics, okay, who just had a baby with LMA, um, the singer. That's who she looking for. Broad shoulder. Jason Tatum. Okay, that man got some arms on him. He be like this. He's small at the bottom though. He like tweet 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 at the bottom. But anywho, that's what she looking for. I said, mm. She said she moved from a small town to Chicago for a change. She ain't got no job. No, she might have a job now. But when she came to, to Chicago, girl didn't have nothing but uh her 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 boots, her jean jacket because she looked like she wear a whole lot of jean jackets and her um. Oh, oh, and her sketchers she looks like she wears sketchers <laughs> and um or her hokas she like she wears sketchers or hokas okay um but that's what she she came with nothing and it looks like clearly she got a job y'all i don't want to say she unemployed because um looked like she was typing on a in, uh, on a computer i don't i don't know nobody that typed that fast but i'm gonna mind my business and keep it moving let's move forward with her husband david David, David has given me homeless in about five years. Is it just me? Is it just me? No, he no judgment for the simple fact that uh, rent uh, is high, mortgage uh, rates is crazy as shit, and um, he might be in the basement a few more years the way the, the these uh, mortgage rates is going. But you know what? He, uh, him and this man bun uh is mixed race puerto rican i believe and he is saying out of his mouth his sweet spot is a white woman told 
told y'all it's gonna be one of them damn seasons. So he don't, he don't like my melanated ass, basically. David, the telltale sign that you ain't got your own and that you live in your mama basement. Why were you golfing on your mama front lawn? See, this is how I knew that when your house, first of all, y'all see that y'all saw the flowers. <laughs> The front of the house looked like somebody old and seasoned lived there. Somebody, a seasoned saint lived there. Baby, she had floral decorations. She had her little windmills and shit. She had all her little, her little perennials was, was up and blooming. Um, yes. She was like, uh, I got a few annuals, but these are perennials. Um, yeah, she looked very much. I said, this is his mama house. And why is he going on his mama front lawn like he ain't got no sense? You know you're supposed to be in the backyard. But anywho, where's his house at? He need to get a... I ain't trying to be in your business, but I am. But I'm going to say my, my, my speech on this. You can't get married and bring a uh, boo-boo kitty to the basement, okay? I'm going to need for you to get a mortgage or uh, a lease for at least a year because this is how long this gonna go before y'all be divorced okay i said it i'm standing by it he say david say he like feisty and independent i said you about to get exactly what you're looking for you about to get coyote ugly in this mug because um michelle look like uh she can handle her liquor very well okay she looks very much um Every Friday night, she in somebody's uh, bar, tavern, saloon, uh, brunch on Sundays, lots of lunch Monday through Wednesday. She looks like that girl. If I catch you writing another motherfucking letter, I catch you. Stop playing in our faces. This man here, 41-year-old talking all this yeah he talking he talking so much he talking game i'm gonna make sure girl i'm gonna make sure i put gas in your car give me your car give me your gas car right now i need a i need a full tank right now you got it because chicago gas is high as giraffes kudahoo G give me your car right now wanna make sure when she hungry i can cook her something to eat besides ramen noodles and um yeah, I just, you know, I just want to be there and a present husband for her. And you know what? I don't believe a Zion word you're saying, okay? You you have lied to me three times. And I don't even know you like that yet. <laughs> I don't even know with this man. This man says he is a, a, he was a high school band director. I said, all right, drum line. All right, Dr. Ali. Okay, AT&T, you know. All right. I said, okay. He said, you know, now he working at high school um counselor. He helping kids get to college. And I said, okay, oh, we're bound. All right. All right. Okay, cool. Um, This is his second time on the show. I said, I don't know if I like that. I don't know. I don't know if I like that, y'all. I'm going to be honest. Like, I feel like you... Like you chasing down Dr. P a pregnant ass. Or you think this your last great white hope. I don't I don't know. But I don't know if I like that in all honesty. Especially since he said he tried out for the Houston. And y'all remember Houston. Y'all remember the firefighter. Mir um, uh, uh, Marilla. That, that, oh Lord, yeah, maybe this might be his only go. This might be it for him, okay? Isn't me though? He reminds me of a, uh, what's the super duper student in, um, and professor? What was his name with the bald head? What was his name, y'all? Come on, help me. He was with, uh, Tennessee. He was with the Tennessee, uh, what's his name? Y'all know who I'm talking about. The one who, uh, what was his name? The one who made bow ties and shit. Put it in the comment section. Y'all know who I'm talking about. He reminds me of him, okay? Um, but this man, Aikichi, um, says this is like Christmas to him being picked for the Chicago cast. This is like Christmas. He can finally unwrap his gift. Okay. 
I'm telling you the gift of Gab. He's a talker, honey. He gonna talk you right out of your drawers. Um, um, Eminem, Eminem. Y'all, we gonna call her Mimi, okay? Or E Breezy. We she gonna have to have a nickname. Her, her husband. I, I, I Kichi, Ikea. He gonna have to have a nickname, okay? I'm gonna have to call him Ghost Rider or some shit. I don't know. Y'all, let me know what y'all think his nickname should be because I'm gonna tear this up, okay? And y'all, please forgive me for saying it incorrectly. Even them, Emo, Mimi, hell. Mimi, 35, she's of Nigerian descent. Um, She's a nurse practitioner. Unfortunately, she tells us her father just, you know, passed away and she's still in the morning with that. My condolences to you, queen. She seemed real level-headed. Now, if it isn't me, she seemed a little boring. She seemed a little boring, okay? She is giving me, uh, was that Jasmine in ten the Tennessee season that was boring? Um, that I had to judge up for y'all the whole season? Um... Was it Nashville? That was Nashville. The Nashville cast was woo snooze fest, but I gave it all I got. Didn't I, y'all? If if you haven't watched the Nashville season, it's in my playlist. Just run it back. I did really good. You'd be proud of me. But anywho, um, yeah, uh, she says she's dating with the purpose. I agree because guess what? It's it's P in the day. All right, y'all. Now listen with Alan. Alan giving me a real hood like a little hood like Stilo. Okay, did he say he was he like the thuggish ruggish bone? Did he say he like the thuggish ruggish bone? Did he say he like bone thugs and harmony? Cause baby, I was about to be like, it's the thuggish ruggish bone. Is my daddy coming home? That ain't the lyrics to that to that that song, but I just gave y'all a little bit of freestyle, okay? He got a few black friends. We we saw one at the at the tux fitting. Um, he gives me he gives me vibes. He gives me vibes, okay? Um, he's at he's at happy hour a lot, and 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 I'm gonna tell you now, he ain't downtown at happy hour. His ass and went to the south side of Chicago. For his happy hour because for him to know thuggish ruggish bone east 1999 he know wish flesh busy crazy baby he said thuggish ruggish bone i already knew who he hang out with honey he was a happy hour goes down we're going to where exchange street that's where he gonna be at he gonna be over there but anywho um he gonna be in the wild hundreds and if you know chicago you know your ass don't need to be in the wild hundreds okay but he is well-rounded and um he understands the struggles now i hope to god that the struggles does not make his storyline the whole entire season he is leading with the struggles he he is leading what he had to uh eat leftovers and 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 he know about hard times and his parents are divorced and his daddy he, he did real well with his daddy his daddy had them coins i say his daddy should have been making sure he had food to eat at mama house too now you dead ass wrong daddy for that okay um but at his mama house, sometimes he didn't have it. Sometimes she couldn't, she couldn't bring it all together. So he had to, you know, he had to eat the scraps and figure out about a mayo sandwich or a, a, a jelly sandwich. You know, he did what he had to do. However, he brought that up a few times about his parents' divorce. And I said, baby, I think you need to go to counseling and pray. Okay. I think you need to pray that your childhood trauma don't show up so prevalent before you really get good into your marriage. He is married to Madison. Madison comes flowing through in her yellow romper. She is the shot queen. She came ready, do you hear me? She also comes from a divorced household. I say, okay, they got that in common. Um, She's out here for the streets. Do you hear me? 
I said, ask her where Sean O'Clock is. She going to tell you what's popping, what day. She going she gonna to tell you what's going down on what day because she in these streets. Do you hear me? Now, she claims that she always go for the pretty boys. With the young faces, the baby faces. I said, <clears throat> all right. Madison, do you see what you got? I don't believe for one moment, and I'm going to say this, and I could be wrong, and y'all might eat me up in the comment section, but I said what I said. I ain't taking it back. Here you go. I'm about to say it out my mouth. From my mouth to your ears. They say Madison 29. That's a hard-ass 29. That's a hard-ass 29. They say she 29. I said, I said, nah. Bitch, give it, a, give it an extra 10. That is not 29. I said what I said. She is hard. She is hard as Newport cigarettes back in 1999. She is that hard. She is not 29. I give her 39, close to 40. Okay? And if she... And don't don't be mad at me. Tell her to put some moisturizer on and get, and get out, stay out the sun. Don't be mad at me. Now, Madison, mom is absent from her life. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Okay. Although she is, she, she looked hard in the face. That's unfortunate that her mother did not get to know the, this beautiful woman. Okay. Uh, she goes for the pretty boy type. So we going to see it. Baby, I think she going to be surprised when she see him at, 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 on, at the end of that aisle. I think she going to be like, hold up. That's him. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Carla with the K, because I'm Carla with the C, okay? Carla with the K is 34, okay? And um, she craves intimacy. She craves love. She loves love. I said I love love too. I love seeing a happy, loving couple. I love love. I hope everyone has a chance in their lifetime to fall head over heels deep in love with someone okay i'm that type of person i root for everybody okay but um baby she into the universe ain't she 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 was playing in them damn leaves and she said the universe gonna bring her who she needs to have in her life um she loves her and it's hard for her to let go I wouldn't tell nobody that shit on camera, but she did. So, Carla is uh, real cool, but we we can tell she gon she gon give us something for the cameras this this season. Yeah, I, I can't wait to watch her. Okay, just like y'all don't y'all can't wait to watch me because y'all know I'm about to say some crazy. I know, I know. Now why? Ooh. Who gonna steal the show, Carla Juan? Baby, she got Neve's big brother. Y'all know Neve from Catfish? Hey, bruh, he's stealing Ricky Martin moves. This fool says, I like the living la vida loca. Ay, 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 living la vida loca. He said, he said, he said, shake your fingers. He said, shake your fingers. He said, spirit fingers, spirit fingers. Baby, who do they have this season? Juan don't play no games. Juan said you need to know a, 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 a 16 count. He said five, six, seven, eight, and pull, and pull, and roll, roll, snap. He said you better know how to dance. Can you dance? He danced, didn't he, y'all? Woo! Juan, Juan, Juan was something else. Juan said i need her to be giving jennifer lopez okay i need for her to be selena i need for her to give me energy energy like beyonce said energy energy he keep calling himself um intricate and he said, she, you know, I'm an intricate person I, i'm just a i'm really a, a a very intricate person and um yeah, she's going to have to, you know, compromise and um, and deal with some things with me. That sound controlling and shit, if you ask me. Don't, what was y'all taking from that? I said, uh, uh, Ricky Martin. 
uh little ricky martin ass man um what the hell does that mean to be intricate thomas has a twin an identical twin thomas i'm, I'm gonna tell you now from the from what thomas was saying <clears throat> i don't know if thomas is here for himself like because he really really wants to find a good woman or is this like um damn i will marry you damn like because he's trying to keep up because he you know his father passed and his brother's already married and he 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 don't want to be left out of the circle of life um i don't i don't i'm not getting that he really wants to be here for the right reasons to find a really good woman and wife that he can he can care for although i know his mama said do right by do right by he is marrying camille camille um is a hopeless romantic uh but she said these dudes be acting right the minute they see something shiny and they think that they want it they gone and um i said i agree because the attention span is short as hell okay they with them you got about five seconds before they start they they don't they're not even looking at you they looking at your chest they're not even looking at you they looking at your lips and they wondering what that mouth do boo tell me i'm lying i'll wait and while i'm waiting don't forget to hit that like button i know i know and don't forget to hit that subscribe because i I'm pretty sure you probably didn't do it yet. And don't forget to hit the bell notification. That's all. Just tell me I'm lying and I'll leave you alone. Camille says she is a caretaker. She loves to, to take care of her loved ones. And sometimes she lets a lot of things ride and slide when she should, you know, speak up for herself. She is a baller, baby. The way she, you know, she posted up. I said, yeah, baby, you, I don't know. Was you a Ford or something? Because... Baby, you was giving me WNBA vibes, okay? She, Camille, seems very like she is here for the right reasons. I hope, I hope that Thomas the Train looking ass, this Thomas the Train looking ass, man, I hope that he is here for the right reasons or this will, this will be an ultimate just, this won't work out, okay? Now, Thomas, uh, I, I, I can already tell this ain't gonna work with y'all too. I'm gonna tell you why. Did this fool say you got to coordinate the type of clothes that you have? Like this fool said, uh, my polos need to be folded in the drawer. My button ups need to be hung up a particular way, facing east, not west. I was like, oh, I can't deal with somebody like that. Look, put your clothes up. That's my only thing. Put your clothes up. I'm not asking for your closet to be orderly. You know, I'm, I'm minding my business with the closet because I'm telling you. That, that, that's, that's something I need to tackle for myself because I have way too many clothes. But to be to coordinate that like that like no that's that's he was like my crew necks need to be folded like this and my polos need to be this way and my button ups need to be hung up and i was like camille gonna catch hell that's what i thought then another reason why i don't think he's here i think he's here for a mission because he he says the clock is ticking and i want a kid the clock is ticking. I have I have a big family, nieces and nephews, and 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 I see my 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 siblings having kids, and my brother's on baby number two. And I was like, you know what? The clock is ticking. And I was like, don't put no pressure on my sis, Camille. Where's the budget? Where is the budget? You wait a minute. This Chicago. You heard me. Heard me. Hear me good. This is Chicago. Nightlife is always popping. Y'all got them in a bowling alley and the uh, the uh, the ex. And it's a day party. I said, is this what y'all could come up with? The other seasons, y'all actually had them in like bar setting type of thing. Y'all got them 
at the Avondale Bowling Alley. Oh, okay. That's a nice bowling alley anyway, but that's what that's what what y'all picked. Okay, got you. Um, and the men are at the uh what is that like X Golf or something like that? That's what it's called. Uh, Eminem, E me, me, me. This girl tells Camille, her and Camille talking, and she says, I, I just can't wait for this process because they do everything for you. It's like they did all the hard work for you. I was like, shit. Wait till the wait, wait till you see they don't give a shit about that. They ain't they ain't worked hard at all. They gonna man, you gonna feel shit at all. You gonna feel real Nicki Minaj. I hope you watched a few seasons before you because they don't do their research. They don't pick what you ask them to pick at all. Camille, you said you want somebody ready. Thomas is in a challenge. He ain't ready. He's in a challenge. Okay. He feel challenged. Okay. Now, Ricky Martin, aka Juan, tearing up the dance floor. You hear me? Pop locking, dropping, spinning, B boy. He B boy dancing. Okay. He do da da do 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 da 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 da. He was getting it. Little tight ass jeans. He was getting it. I mean, hit the, hit the mess with me. Mess with me, Stan. I said, Juan, you going to show out at this reception. I can't wait until the second episode. No, nah, maybe the third. He, I know he going to show out. He going to show out. Baby, we going to electric slide. Y'all get ready for the wobble. Y'all know every year we do the wobble. Y'all ready? I'm Kichi. I, I catch you. I'm, I count you writing. This man said, I've been writing to my wife, my dear future wifey. I've been writing to her for the last seven years. That's that bullshit. I, I just keep catching you in lies. Tell me any goddamn thing. Just tell me any motherfucking thing. Okay, around here. And I just believe it because I'm just dumb. I'm just dumb. Okay. Um... They, his guilty, this I know he's full of crap. He said, my guilty snack is hot Cheetos. I said, I I, I knew it. Hot Cheetos, I knew, uh, or Uncle Ray's barbecue, I knew Fast it. Fast forward, who trying to peel a banana? I don't want no uncircumcised, uh, I don't, I don't want that. That is a unicorn in my life. Was that Camille talking about what if you get a husband and he's not, you know, circumcised? What then? I can't believe Carla said this. Carla with the K said this. My good old sis. My twin. My twin says, that's a great gift to unwrap. That might be for some of y'all, but it's too much work to peel a banana to get to what I need to get to. Okay. Um, that that is too much. That is that is I'm not a firefighter. I'm not gonna be pulling down the ladder. Okay. <laughs> I'm not doing it. They got me messed up. What I look like with a damn bop it for a man. Pull it, twist it, yank it, flip it. I don't want to play bop it when it's time to get down to the get down to the down 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 okay so let's fast forward because i've been talking to y'all long enough okay and let's get to the, the 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 potential wedding okay so the first couple to get to the altar is uh camille and uh thomas <clears throat> camille is freaking out are you serious? I can't do this. Oh, like hell you can't. Oh, like hell you can't. First of all, you going to do it because you ain't got that type of coin to be uh, giving back to them, baby. That is, you and put that down on something already. A new car, a washer and dryer. You don't have that type of time or money. Secondly, um, this is all for uh, shits and giggles and for the show. We already know you going to walk and skate your ass down that aisle to Thomas. Uh, he gonna act happy to see you and smiling and 
and um you're gonna be all right so somebody go get um camille uh, a glass of tap water that's how that much merit at first sight don't care about you or got a budget they didn't give you no 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 dasani aquafina they didn't give you no good water no good spring water they was like go get her that tap water out the back there okay they didn't give you no straw they gon they said drink it mess up your lips drink it but you gonna get your ass up out here and and meet this man that we in work to get they ain't had us waiting for the, a new episode for how long y'all how long like like six months or longer you better get out here and act and do what you need to do okay you and your eyebrows okay which are gorgeous by the way who do your eyebrows girl let me get off of here i'll talk to you guys next week for episode two of Married at First Sight, I am back. I am happy that it's back, okay? It looks very promising. If I left anything out, if you want to further discuss episode one or what you think of the season, please leave it down below. Go downtown. Let me know your thoughts and opinions, okay? Once again, thank you guys for watching Pretty Real TV. I am your girl, Carla. Thank you for all your support and love and I'll see you guys next week. Until then, bye.